in the last video I uh, had the barrels painted and uh, got the pistons and the piston rings sorted so looks like I'm ready to go. So what I thought I'd do next is I'd lay out all the parts that I'm going to use to start building up the top end and then go through to make sure that they're going to be okay. And I've already done a little bit of that uh, and I knew there were going to be some issues. I thought it might be worthwhile instead of just going through what I've got and I'm using while I've got a few different parts is to go through the differences between some of the parts. I've got three sets of barrels. I think I've got a set of 300, 392 and 410. Now some people may think what the hell is he talking about? Well those are really the numbers of the different generations of engine that uh, Honda made for the CB750 single overhead cam. Within them there is a lot of variety as well and it can get a bit confusing. And most of the parts are pretty much interchangeable. You can use later ones for earlier ones. However, my engine was originally based on a 410 engine and there are a couple of things about the 410 engine that meant some of the parts wouldn't be usable for the rest of the engine after I swapped the barrels. This might make more sense when I actually explain about the barrels and then about the head. So let's have a look at the barrels first. These are the three barrels that I've got for what I think are the three main generations. Uh, I'll talk about that in a second. These are the barrels I'm going to use. The reason I'm not using these ones was because when they've been bored, they've been bored slightly oversized, and then the pistons, if you look in my previous video, you'll see piston rings were wrong and they've got scratches. So I couldn't bore them to fit the pistons that I'm using. Now these I've had bored to the right size, but the main reason I went for 392 was because of the head. And I'll explain that as I get further on into the video. Now these barrels are what I think are the three main generations. Might not have the numbers 100% on, I think they're pretty, you know, they are accurate. But there was a few changes along the way, but I think this is sort of good demonstration of the three main types. The 300 was the very early type. The easy way to tell this, and I'm sure there are lots of other ways, put things in the comments because I'm learning all the time. But the easy way to tell is it doesn't have these strange cutouts where the head studs come through or where the, the full studs come through. So it's a completely flat head. And apparently, Hondas, despite you know what you think, did have a reputation for a little bit of oil leakage and around the head. And part of that with some engines was caused from oil coming through these, because this hole goes straight down into the crankcase. Now, seems unlikely to me, but yeah, that's what Honda decided on. So the big change was to actually put in I think they call them knock pins and some really big seals that sat on these sets of bolts, uh, on these holes between this and the actual head. They actually stick through the gasket, the gasket goes around them and these seals go against the head. Now on the forums there's a lot of wisdom that you know they don't actually make that much difference but for some people they do make a difference so whether you put them in or you leave them out I'm intending to leave them out because of the gasket I'm using doesn't have the space for them but this is the barrel I'm going to use and I think this is a 392 generation barrel. The oil comes up through the barrels through these which didn't change it's through two studs and you get an o-ring that goes at the top of these. Now the barrel that came with my engine is this one and this is definitely a 410. And from this angle, you cannot see any difference whatsoever. It's got the same cutouts as the 392. 
However, there is a fundamental difference, but I'll need to turn it over to show you that. So this is the underside of the barrels, the 300, 392 and 410. And if you remember from the top, the change on the top was between these two. Well, on the bottom, the change is between these two. Because what happened was the drain on these two is exactly the same. Both of these studs that go through allow the oil to drain back down. However, between this one and this one, the 410, they went to only draining down one of the studs. And this also led to a change with the head. Now, in principle, they will all fit onto the crankcases. The crankcases at the top are pretty much the same. However, you do get some issues with trying to use a 410 head on a 392 barrel. And I've got a 410 head for, for that one. And now I've got a 392 head for this one. That was the barrels, now I'm on to the heads. Now, I only have two heads. One's the 392 and one's the 410. The 410 is what originally came with my engine. Now, with the barrel that I've got, and for another reason, which I'll get into towards the end of the video, I couldn't use, or I didn't want to use the 410 head with those Yoshimura pistons that I've got. So let's have a look at these heads now. The two heads that I've got, this one is a 392 one. It's actually marked here and it is actually stamped with K8. So I'm you know, pretty confident it's off a K8 bike. This one is a 410. Now my understanding is the 410 only really came on the uh, F-series single overhead cam bikes. I may be mistaken with that. Let me know in the comments if that's the case. They were nearly always painted black as well. This one's going to go black, but at the moment, the one I've bought looks like it's been vapour blasted and it looks a uh, quite good nick. First of all, I'll point out why I couldn't use that head with what I have as a 392 set of barrels and where I had to get this one. If you look just about here, you can see an oil drain hole. And on the later heads, it only has one oil drain on this side. What they've also done is this particular stud is where the oil would drain from this drain into and down. And when they've done away with the hole on this side, this stud is actually now open to air all the way through. So if you don't seal this at the top, and more importantly for me, at the bottom, then you're likely to get an oil leak on the head here. They seal it at the top by using copper washers and a capped nut. And if you remember when we looked at the 410 barrel that now only deals with one oil drain, this went down into the barrel and the barrel was closed at the bottom. It was only open on this side for the oil drain. So if I used this head on the barrels for this, there was a danger that there was gonna be a hole, hole all the way through the barrel into the head, open to air like a breather. And obviously you could get oil coming out and rubbish going in. That's one of the main reasons why I couldn't use this head. Besides the oil drain hole missing, you'll also notice on the 392, there are actually two separate areas where the oil drains through, whereas there's a tunnel through on both sides on the 410 head. Now, this is the main difference, and it's certainly, a showstopper for me using that head with the 392 barrel. However, let me flip them over and show you another difference that also impacted my decision. The main difference on this side of the engine is the actual valve sizes. 
on the F series, the 410 head, the 34 on the inlet and 31 on the exhaust. And on the K series, the 32 on the inlet and 28 on the exhaust. Now, the knock on for that was they had to make this head a little bit deeper than that one. So, if I use that head with my Yoshi pistons, it should give me the compression the Yoshi pistons intended to have. If I use this head with the Yoshi pistons, it should actually end up slightly lower compression. To be honest, I could live with that, uh, but it is one of the knock-ons from the F-Series head. These are not as common. So when you're buying aftermarket parts, it's harder to find for F-Series, of you know, the 410, than it is for the 392 and earlier. That's the barrels and heads. I think it's been interesting to look at the different generations. And my decision to go with the 392 has mostly been driven by the fact I needed to get a new set of barrels because the other ones were scratched. If they hadn't have been, I would have put the 410 head and barrel on this engine and I would have accepted the fact there might be slightly less compression. Don't think it would have been a big issue. However, having had the issue forced to get new barrels, I think going the 392 route makes more sense. To me, the big point was the barrels from a 300 or 392 series engine would vent the crankcase into some void in the cylinder head which could cause oil leaks. Now I've seen on forums where people have put, you can use 410 heads on 300 barrels. They may be right, I may be wrong. I can't see how that wouldn't cause an issue. If you know different, shove something in the comments. And if you're watching this, why not have a look in the comments, see what people have said. Anyway, I'm gonna stop now. There are still a couple of issues I need to address with this 392 head. I'll get to them, I'll put them together in the next video. And hopefully, shortly after that, I'll be able to get this head and barrels on. Start worrying about camshafts then. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. If you haven't, do subscribe. Have a look at some of the other stuff that we did. And if you're really kind, put a thumbs up.